Delicious. Okay. So. Uh, yeah, game, I got them from Joe Kim already. Anyway, in the top right corner, as the orange Zerg, we have ISL2 Michael. And in the left position, as the red Protoss, we have LML from Team uh, GNS. So uh, we are in game one of the series on Tau Cross, and I, after casting that epic matchup, that epic game, I'm gonna have to have to get my brain back in order, man. I'm gonna have to do like a, a soft reboot here, you know, clear my clear my cache, clear the memory, man. Okay, so um, I'm actually interested to see this game because LML has a very strange uh, PBZ build order. Which is, he does a gateway and a forge in the main, and then he expands with cannons. So he does like a delayed forge FE uh, with early zealots. And uh, his reasoning for this is, if, uh, well, first of all, if his opponent 4 or 5 pulls, he'll be safe. Because he went for a, a gateway. Uh, and of course, if you go for a 10 gate, you're pretty much, uh, you, pre you can defend 4 or 5 pull quite easily. Uh, similarly... If his opponent goes for a 12 hatch, you can put on uh, early pressure with those initial zealots, and you know cause the uh, cause a bit of uh, damage to the zerg in the beginning, so that you make up for your slower nexus. Uh, against an overpool or let's say a 12 pool or something like that, it seems less optimal. I'm actually not sure what the justification is, but that's basically it. <clears throat> so, uh, looks like it's actually going to be a. I think that was an overpool, I was not paying attention. Something like an overpool. Anyway, here is the Gateway Forge, as I said, for LML. Oops, sorry, I, just, I keep hitting my microphone. Ugh. I hope that's not like causing crazy loud noises for you guys. Anyway, see there's a pile on the front, so now he's gonna cannon up and expand. And uh Oh, another curious thing he did, or he does rather, that I didn't understand until I asked him was um Instead of putting like two cannons at, uh, side by side here at the, wow, excuse me. <laughs> so instead of putting uh, two cannons here, as uh, as one normally does with a forge FE, he actually puts one cannon at the front and then one cannon a little bit further back. Uh, and I didn't understand this because you know if you get hydro busted, you want both cannons at the front. But he says basically it's to help defend uh, the natural minerals, uh, natural mineral line in case uh, mutas come in, which uh, which I guess does make some sense. So anyway. Looks like uh, Michael only made two Zerglings, and uh, he went for a drone scout at the six o'clock. Six o'clock, excuse me. Didn't see anything. The Overlord will see LML's base. LML opting for one cannon before uh, a Nexus, and one Zealot's gonna move out. But well, I mean, it's gonna force a couple more Zerglings from uh, from Michael. Yes, indeed. Michael going for a uh, up to up to six Zerglings, a second and third pair, and going for a third base here. Um, at the close third, not going to opt for another natural, uh, but I think that's fine. Uh, interestingly, I believe um, Chosen uh, was uh, favored go going the the five hatch build, five hatch hydro build on this map, <clears throat> since uh, you know you have this close third and it's quite nice and open. So flooding the map with hydros is pretty good. And looks like the scanning probe is still going to run around here. Michael going for a surround. Oh. Uh, 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 uh. Anyway, Nexus is down. Uh, gas being taken. And another pylon. Nothing fancy going down. And nice uh, probe dancing by LML. Oh, just as I say it, getting taken down. Um, but he doesn't see a lair just yet. Well, there's not 100 gas, I guess. So, uh, oh my goodness, Michael! Michael, oh you, oh you. Three hatch Hydra, ladies and gentlemen, as soon as the probe goes down. Michael, taking no prisoners, going straight for the kill here. Interestingly, uh, Elmo actually did put the cannon at the front rather than at the back, as I said. So my prediction did not come true there. Oh wells, oh wells. Um, he did make a the Simon X core as part of the wall, though. Interestingly, which uh, is going to be bad because he's going to lose that when the Hydras come in. And looks like we have range being researched. I don't know if he actually got speed yet. Looks like he didn't get link speed. And oh man, there's a probe coming in here. Can he stop it? Michael! Michael, there's a probe! Oh, Michael doesn't see the probe. The probe's going in. The links are going back. 
But he's gonna scout it! LML! Oh no, what are you doing, LML? Don't go back! Okay, 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 okay. Go. Go into the main. And see that there is a den. Yes. Good job. Good job, Protoss. Alright, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I shouldn't be biased. But, you know. I'm Protoss, man. I'm Protoss! We, we're, we, I'm a Brotoss, man. We gotta stick together. So, LML sees it coming. And he's like, holy check! Cannons! And a uh, Robo. Cool, gonna make some Reavers to defend it. Nice, I like that choice actually. I like that. I actually did that recently too, uh, you know, because I saw that in a lot of pro games. And I was like, huh, that's a pretty good idea. You know, you make some Rebos, you can do some harassment later on. Pretty good strat, pretty good strat. Uh, anyway, looks like uh, range is finished. He's not getting speed. I wonder if he's actually not gonna commit. Yeah, he's actually making drones. Yeah, he's actually just gonna put a little bit of pressure on the front. Uh, did he make a lair? No lair yet, but uh, see, see now, now here's what's gonna happen. He can actually just camp the hydras here outside of cannon range, pick off this gateway, pick off this core, and just can do a light contain here. But he doesn't actually have to commit to anything. Yeah, he's just throwing down another hatchery. Uh, should be getting a lair somewhere uh, eventually. Anyway, um, so yeah, a bunch of cannons at the front. Uh, where is the support bay? There it is, almost finished, so he will have a Rebo. And that's quite nice, because that means we might see some nice uh, Reaver Harass later on in the game. Which is quite fun. Oh, did you see that? He like started a Reaver damage upgrade and then cancelled it. Wow! He's actually getting Reaver damage. Well, that's cool. Uh, huh. That's not... <coughs> excuse me. That's not, uh, that's not standard, is it? <coughs> Is that, that's, is that normal? When you go for Reavers? I don't know. Anyway, he's getting goon range now. And, uh, oh, it looks like Michael's just gonna chill out here. Actually, actually, this cannon is a little bit forward. So maybe, I don't know, if you put a Hydra here, can you range this? I'm not sure. Uh, maybe you can't. Hmm. Anyway. <clears throat> Michael's not gonna try. So, uh, well, we have some, another hatchery going down, and oh, what's going, what's going on here? He's going for it! I don't think that's a good idea. He doesn't have that many units. He kills the leading cannon, but now he can range it, I think. Well, no, maybe not. And, whoa, definitely not with a the Reaver there. So, that was not good. And is he still getting, yeah, he actually is getting the, uh, the Reaver damage. I'm trying to think, like, why would you get that so fast? And not like shuttle range, or sorry, <laughs> shuttle range, shuttle speed. Could you imagine? Could you imagine if there was a shuttle range upgrade? It like it lets you load and unload units that are far away from you. Oh my god, that would be so cool. Could you imagine? Like you have a shuttle over here, and you just unload it over here into the enemy base without actually flying in. That'd be so sick, man. You could do like elevators so easily. Oh wow. All right, somebody actually needs to patch that in. Shuttle range upgrade. Man, I'm such a genius. Anyway, uh, there's the lair. And looks like we have a range attack being researched. Um, looks like Dragoon range is almost done. Is he going to do a Dragoon Reaver push? Actually, he is going to do a Dragoon Reaver. Wow. Oh, man, this is cool. All right. That is very interesting. He's also... Oh, plus one's actually going to finish. Wow, looks like... Look at that. Range just finishes. Plus one's about to finish. He might just push uh, when plus one finishes and the shuttle gets out. Look at that. Everything lines up quite nicely there. I don't know if that was on purpose or not, but uh, that is uh, that is some good stuff. Anyway, ba -ba -ba -ba, spires going down. These are some interesting uh, hatcheries too. They're like in the middle of uh, not in the middle of nowhere, but uh, anyway, um, decent drone saturation for Michael. Uh, about one per patch here, but uh, anyway, here comes the push now. He's got to be very careful with this uh, shuttle and two reavers. He's got no speed, so uh, it's a little bit harder to micro that effectively, but uh, as long as you... I mean, with the Dragoons there, he'll be quite well protected, and... I mean, Michael, as soon as he sees this, he knows what's coming, so... Uh, yep, yeah, pulling some Hydras back. I mean, this this shuttle, man, is getting a little bit far ahead. Got to be careful with that. Don't want to lead with a shuttle, man. Don't want to lead with a shuttle. There's some Hydras there. They might go in from the back and snipe it! Hydras going in from the back! Can they snipe it? Shataru! Shataru! Does he see it? The shuttle! The shuttle! The shuttle! Oh! I think LML was a little bit lucky right there. 
and Michael losing a lot of Hydras. Uh-oh, uh-oh, but Michael is producing off five hatches, though. Look at all these Hydras. Scourge coming out! Oh, man. Oh, man. Scourge. Scourgey, Scourgey, Scourgey! That is a lot of Hydras. And Mutas. And Mutas. Evo, Evo! Where's the second Evo? Evo, Evo! The, Re the Reavers get out, but why is the Reaver walking forward? What are you doing, Reaver? Oh, my God, what was that Reaver doing? And it looks like LML will get cleaned up here. Oh wow, doing a lot of damage, but doesn't matter, doesn't save the Reaver, doesn't save the shuttle, doesn't save anything. An observer coming in saying like, hey guys, I guess I guess you're all dead. And Hellmel's money's actually getting really high, I don't know what's going on there. And look at that, Hydra's just wrecking Dragoons right now, they even have plus one. Well I guess it's plus one against plus one, but uh, that is not good. And LML gonna follow up by uh, <laughs> trying to transition out, getting a Citadel now, adding another gateway. But he is quite a bit behind, I think. Uh, if we just look at the food counts, uh, 87 against, well, 60, so food wise, uh, not so bad. But I still think Michael's in a great position. Uh, now getting plus two ranged attack for his dudes. Uh, looks like plus one armor is actually being researched for LML. Interesting that he got uh, attack before armor in the first place. I mean, uh, I've seen a, a lot of players, like, uh, I know Jumper does this, he gets armor before attack when he goes for that kind of dra uh, Dragoon Reaver push. Because, I mean, the logic is you want your gateway units mainly to tank damage, whereas your Reavers deal damage, especially after getting that Reaver damage upgrade. I would think uh, the armor actually makes more sense. But anyway, uh, LML not going to be able to hold his third. They try and do some Reaver micro, but, well, actually, more Dragoons coming in here, so... He will barely hold on, but there are reinforcements from Michael as well. So, uh, wow, Michael's actually just in pure Hydra production here, flooding Hydras in. He is taking a fourth base at the 6 o'clock, uh, the 6 o'clock main. But he might actually be able to deny this third and then just go kill him. Uh, well, shuttle out now, another Reaver is being produced. It's very tricky because LML wants to use this Reaver to defend, um, but I think he really... Well, is he going to use it to defend or will he go harass with it? Interesting AI pylons right here, uh, just to make the Hydras bug out a little bit, shoot the pylons instead of the Dragoons. But Hydras, man, are quite good against Dragoons, uh, at least cost for cost. But no, it looks like uh, LML will defend here and his third base is up. Should send some probes over there. Does have a decent amount of probes. And yep, there we go, there is the transfer. It looks like 1-1 one, one is done for the Protoss ground. Um, plus two weapons, yeah, it's on the way. And these Scourge, well, there's four Dragoons right there. If he can get, like, a roundabout path, eh, I don't know. <clears throat> so, anyways, uh, Hydra's running around the south side. Scourge are, oh, looks like he's just going to patrol these to, to prevent any uh, drops into his main. I think that's actually quite a good move. Um, but I don't think LML would take such a direct route anyway. And, uh oh, uh oh, Hydra's counterattacking here. Um, the Zealots, oh, they're actually still slow Zealots, those aren't going to be that useful against Hydras, and it looks like he's just going to back off. Uh, the Reaver does come back, and one Reaver with one cannon here. Might want to make a couple more cannons. Fourth Hatchery has finished now, or not really Fourth Hatchery, it's like the Sixth, sixth Hatchery? Yeah, Sixth Hatchery. Uh, fourth base is now done for uh, the Zerg, for Michael. Still no signs of Hive Tech or anything. Just doing Mass Hydra. Did he even get Lurker upgrade? I don't know if he even got Lurkers. Going in with a lot of Mutas right now. Oh man, only one cannon in the main. This could be devastating for LML. He's got a lot of units, but they're completely out of position. Pulling all of the probes. Oh wow, taking a lot of damage here. And it, don't leave with the shuttle. Okay, whoo! Man, that would have been silly to get that slide in. Oh no, there's no cannon in the mineral line here. Michael going to be able to micro all day against this. Storm going down. He's going to be so careful. It's so close to the probes, man. Wow, he didn't actually storm any probes, but that is dangerous, dude. Holy check, that's dangerous. Wow, man, like... Dude, dude, Templars need one of those warning labels that's like, keep away from probes. You know like those things that say keep away from children? See, the High Templars need that. Keep away from probes, man. You do not want your High Templar storming near probes. That's just not. That's just not good. You know, that's like that's like letting your kids play in a dangerous road. You know, it's just it's irresponsible. It is irresponsible. And oh, saves the Reaver, but is he gonna lose the shuttle? No, he loses the shuttle, and he's gonna lose the Reaver. Oh, Reaver gets a 